welcome to a new unboxing video. Yeah, it was a while, I think. Uh, what was the last unboxing video? Maybe it was the, the vinyl and the CD of Requiem on Golden Core. Uh, today I have uh, yeah, two reissues, but I will spend way more time with the new album. Yes, uh, I know that Golden Core is, at least since uh, I'm working for the label, more known for reissues. I'm myself, I'm a big fan of good versions of old albums, <laughs> maybe with bonus and uh, yeah, and information in the booklet or in the inlays. But here and there I'm really interested in recent bands, especially when it's old recent bands. <laughs> yeah, talking about Rap Stallion, I mean uh, it's not uh, uh, a secret that uh, I'm a huge new wave of British heavy metal fan and yeah so far uh, I have a CD of this, I had a CD, they still have it, but uh, I have a CD of these guys that was released in the 90s on Vinyl Tap Records, by the way a great name for a label, Vinyl Tap. I think I even didn't get the joke back in the late 90s when I started uh, collecting new wave of British heavy metal. Yeah, and the, the Rap Stallion CD, CD was called, I think, Day to Day was the name of it. I'm not too sure right now, it's upstairs in my collection. But what we can do is uh, having a look at the band uh, when they were performing in the, in the early 80s. So let's see, watch a few seconds of that. Yeah, that was the old Rap Stallion and uh, yeah, not many bands uh, have footage like that except of the big names, Iron Maiden, Saxon, there are uh, Saxon, I can't remember too much old footage here, I think I remember, uh, I think the first really good footage was already with Nigel Glockler on drums, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, Iron Maiden, there was stuff, uh, yeah, well, there's a great Raven uh, DVD with four or five songs from a local TV show. But it's in a venue. Though there is Samson, we have Biceps of Steel. <laughs> so yeah, Rap Stallion can be happy that they have some footage from the early days. Yeah, the band started uh, in the late 17s and they wanted to call themselves Stallion. Yeah, we all know that this is a name that uh, many bands love. <laughs> There's even the German band. Yeah, I would say even good friends of mine, hello, called Stallion these days, but it was already back then when they noticed that there was a band called Stallion, so they put the rap in front of it. So it's the raps here and there, <laughs> not just rap Stallion. Yeah, and it was uh, John Tucker from uh, good old England. Hello, John. Uh, yeah, author of, uh, writer of books like Neat and Tidy, the the book about Neat Records, and yeah, he wrote a book about Saxon, and there's even more. This guy always is always entertaining when he's writing something. He has his own blog with uh, reviews and stuff online, John Tucker online, I think it's. And uh, yeah, here and there he sends me an email. Hey, there's I heard that this is, or that band might want uh, Neat or. A record label and when he told me about Rap Stallion uh, I thought okay let's try I haven't heard the CD in a while and uh, yeah and then I think I got uh, yeah I saw these YouTube videos uh, that they already produced in I think 2018-2019 and I thought god damn that, that's maybe not 100% that garage new wave of British heavy metal sound but god this is so good. I think one of the first uh, videos I saw was uh, Never Say Never and I think let's, uh, let's check out a few seconds of that one.
one of my first impressions that I had from the recent uh, rap stallion and yeah then they we got in, got in contact and they sent over more songs and yeah it's it, I thought god damn this is perfect this is really great for the new wave of British heavy metal fans but also a perfect great album for any heavy rock fan so it's not that uh, I mean new wave British heavy metal fans like me we love also this underproduced, unready sounding garage sound of the new wave bridge heavy metal on all these seven inches. Maybe with mm, a good singer but a bad guitar player or uh, a drummer that sounds more like he fall, falls down the, the stairs while maybe the singer is brilliant. But this is uh, something special. Repstallion is too good for that. <laughs> So you can say unfortunately, but I say, hey, they still have that uh, special spirit that shows off on their new album, Back in the Saddle, that we now made on Going Core Six Music. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy that we made it. I think uh, before I show off the product, uh, I, I will show you something really of interest. Uh, there's a video online uh, from my favorite song on this album, Stranger, Stranger. And yeah, and I thought, God damn, what a, what a, what a great singer here. He has such a, uh, yeah, a strong voice that uh, could be, he, that reminds me a little bit of, yeah, maybe even Graham Bonnet when he was really strong in Saxon. So let's, let's, let's have a look at this video. studio so you need a good take <laughs> uh, and maybe on stage uh, it's not as cool but I wrote uh, I read all the great reviews about them uh, that they were uh, I, I know at least two uh, writer for magazines one in Germany and one in England were saying that Rap Stallion was the best band at Brofest in 2019 I think or was it even 2020 before Corona. I need to check that out again. But yeah, so I found a video when they performed that live. It's uh, of course not the same good quality than the video we just saw, but so here is the proof. <laughs> it's the same uh, uh, passage of the song, the same uh, part of the song, sorry. And check out the singer now live. <laughs> The album which I can unbox uh, I have an open one already in my collection but I will open another one just for this video yeah I had the test pressing before some weeks before we checked that out I checked it out here and uh, a guy called Vadim from six music he has his own studio in the building of six studio he did the same and we both gave green light so yeah of course this album is really great sounding but the album looks good and sounds good and what is really special it's of course a double lp in gatefold so it looks great inside here see a lot of photos from the guys from the raps how they call themselves here and there <laughs> yeah with a lot of credits here's the lineup then we have a guy uh, that helped out here on this album or played this guest solo 
Jan or Jan, Jan, Circa, Circa, I don't know how you spell that, but I heard that name on the album Max and the Broadway Metal Choir. This is where I noticed <laughs> that name. More later. Yeah, now I say it right now. This album will be out on Golden Core 6 too. A reissue of Max and the Broadway Metal Choir. Maybe it will make this guy happy here. Yeah, here's a lot of, here's all the thanks and uh, the crew and all, everything you want to read while listening to an album. This is the back side. Yeah, and I must say, uh, the cover really looks cool on vinyl. Uh, on CD, it's like usual, it's too small a little. It still is a cool cover. And uh, yeah, I, I was I was talking to the band. Ah, oh, you want to really want to do that pink here? But they said yes, we want and so. And yeah, now I say they were right. It looks it looks really cool. Yeah, and then we have an, something special inside here. Here's a big photo of the band, so uh, you can send it to England and they will sign it maybe. Or you, once uh, Covid uh, is allowing shows again and these guys are ready to play, I know that. Uh, yeah, you can take it with you and get their signature. Three guitar players. And here, and here are the lyrics, of course. That you can read with uh, with good uh, some glasses on, and I don't have any here, so yes, 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 I can read. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's the vinyl. It really is great. Yeah, and the first reviews are already really good. We are working on more. There was al uh, also some interviews uh, where they talk about their band history and the new album. So this is the CD. There's not much more to see. Uh, here's that cool photo uh, after a show where they uh, yeah, stand in front of their audience. Yeah, that's Rob Stallion. And uh, the, the good thing is uh, I can promote it in the new wave of British heavy metal environment and everybody knows, oh yeah, these guys, cool, they have a rare seven inch single. Of course, they were on uh, New Electric Warriors, that cult uh, compilation uh, that some also know because Vardis was on that. It was also on Logo Records with uh, If I Were King. If I Were King of Rock and Roll. I Rock and Roll. And uh, yeah, so, uh, but the, uh, there's also, it's, 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 it's an album for everybody. Usually this this is uh, not easy to promote then, but as there is this old school new wave of British heavy metal uh, thing also going on, it's easier to grab and uh, to say to the press, hey, these guys just uh, released their debut album uh, 40 years <laughs> or more than 40 years after the, the band started. Isn't that great? So yeah. That's Repstallion. The other thing we have released now, finally, we really have a problem here in Germany, and I think it's worldwide with uh, vinyls, uh, to, uh, with the manufacturing. Uh, it all takes longer than expected. Then uh, even uh, the guys who print the covers of these inlays uh, don't have paper right now. It's, it's, it's something that sounds like uh, it's the German Democratic Republic when VEB paper was not able to deliver, deliver to VEB Schallplattenpresswerk, you know, it's weird. But it is right now like that due to Covid, uh, yeah, people in home office and um, maybe uh, some shift working, uh, 10 people work uh, on Monday and the next 10 on Tuesday and stuff like that. So we are happy that Sphinx is out now, the CD. I showed the CD already in a previous video, but now the progressive rock, heavy rock album from 1981 is finally there and it looks so great on the back. You just can't agree. I, I think I will put it off the foil here. Is it foil? It doesn't smell foil. You can see it a little better. We removed that rock made in Italy that was on the, on the original cover. So uh, Mario was doing that. Then we found out some some uh, more stuff that was not correct. 
that was uh, also removed and now we have a perfect cover artwork uh, that looks like the original album but without heavy metal made in Italy or rock made in Italy because it's not true. <laughs> it's, it was, it's Italians living in Germany that made this album along with Germans. A guy called Thomas Metzger is on guitar and he's more known these days as Tommy Newton. So it was his first band and he should be proud of that first band because it's it already got brilliant reviews. Uh, it, this album simply was forgotten in time. We are here again now. Every progressive rock fan loves it as much as the proto-metal fans. And yeah, we have an inlay with uh, an interview with, or uh, yeah, we talked with the singer from uh, Pie Driver, also an old Gamma Records band uh, that we have released on CD in January. And he was a good friend of the guys from Swing. So he, he was talking about Swings with me, uh, which led to that interview that you find inside here now. So Swings is finally now available. And yeah, I'm really proud of it. <laughs> it was on Peak Records, a label from Gamma. And I tried to uh, yeah, rebuild that with Golden Core again. <laughs> That's funny. It's always fun to see that. Yeah, and then we have another progressive, maybe a little more uh, psychedelic, hard rocking and uh, stoned <laughs> uh, thing here. Floating Opera, also I think 1980 or 1981. Uh, need to check that out. Uh, yeah, this is, we don't know much about this band. The only thing is that Peter Garotoni is playing drums and he was the boss of Gamma Records, Ga, Garotoni. And yeah, I always love his drumming and I do it, do so here on this album too. It's really weird, uh, but I will show it more off once the vinyl is out of the pressing plant because we exactly have this problem here right now. CD and uh, uh, vinyl should have been released on the same day. It didn't happen because the pressing plant is pressing, not in plant. Oh, this makes no sense. But here is the CD. You see that we tried the best <laughs> uh, to write, uh, to have something at least uh, without uh, without any information of, of the band. Uh, I even asked the guys from that area, Stuttgart, where these guys came from. I think Matt Sinner was one of them. They all said, ah, I can't remember this band floating over at all. There was a band in the early 70s that uh, is now pretty rare these days um, with the same name, so it's even more hard to track down this one. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy that we did that one. Uh, Fading Heroes is such a weird song. It's, I think it's seven or eight minutes. And the singer is completely going nuts in this song. <laughs> You have to hear it and it's the music is more psychedelic and slow and he's screaming like he's he will be shot in a minute or something like that. You have to listen to at least alone this song is worth everything. But my favorite is the opener floating opera which is heavy rock and then it's a little funky in the chorus and you you have to listen to this album. It's mysterious, it's here there it's epic. And uh, Patrick Engel, the guy who uh, transferred the vinyl for us, uh, told me, hey, he's, this sounds like a German version of J.D. Kimball from Omen singing crowd rock. <laughs> and he's right. And I noticed, I didn't notice it myself, but when he wrote that to me, I said, oh yeah, he's right. That's really a little weird. So that was the unboxing for, yeah, March. Uh, still waiting for the floating opera uh, vinyl. Swings is now available, and of course, and yeah, it, it, it made, already made some impact, I would say. The Rap Stallion album is here. I'm proud of everything you see here in front of me. Uh, I am happy about every decision to do all that stuff, and yeah. Now it's my hard job <laughs> and the hard job of Swix to promote and sell this during countries in lockdown and maybe even people having less money right now. So I'm hoping that some of the albums get also a second chance uh, after all this bullshit is, yeah, let's say 
it, it, it got a little better at least in the end and the situation is a little better for the people that we maybe can yeah have a, uh, uh, a yeah a kind of second release date for all that so I will I will uh, definitely will bring all this up again once COVID is over so thanks for watching see you next time in an unboxing video which should be Schloss then I think yeah Schloss and next month no Savinger is later I don't know it's so much Like a car